integration rule for this. Nah, there ain't. But what we can do is turn it into partial fractions. And integrating these instead is easy peasy. Right, Fuge? Lemon squeezy. So you're saying we should turn this function into this format? Uh-huh. And the way to do that is by finding what A and B are. I'd start by multiplying through by the bottom of this fraction. Okay, so on the left side, we get this over itself. What does that give us, guys? One. Yep, now let's do the bits and bobs on the right side. So is all this just to simplify this equation? Yes, sir. And the next step is to expand this out and then group together the x terms. Why? It'll make sense in just a second. A second into the future. Ha! Sorry. Anyway, how many x terms we got on the left side of our equation? Uh, none. Exactly, zero. Now what about on the right side? Uh, is that an x term? Yeah, a plus b amounts of x. Amazeballs. Now if we compare the non-x terms too, it looks like on the left we have this one and on the right we have this a. Yo, is this gonna be a simultaneous equation? Nailed it! So a equals one and therefore b equals minus one. Oh, so now we can go back and rewrite the function as this. Beautiful. And now we'll integrate this instead? Yep, we can integrate the fraction separately and take this negative constant out. We can finish by using these integration rules. So the answer is ln x minus ln x plus 1. You an amateur. You forgot to add c to your answer, dummy. It's literally up here to remind you.